Welcome to Date with Danu. We have a bling show ready for you. And as my first guest on the show, I have the very talented Aseka. Hi, I'm Aseka Vijayavadana. Um, I'm still figuring out who I am. But I'm a huge art lover, I'm a performer, entertainer. So it's my first time on Date with Danu and I'm super excited to be here because I've watched almost all the programs and I love it. I'm a huge fan, like personally. So very excited to be here. I don't know what I'm putting myself into. Let's see. So Danu is a lovely guy. Uh, I've been knowing him for some, some time now. Um, but he can also be very unpredictable at times. So I don't know what's in store for me. I hope all good things. Uh, looking forward to have fun and to have a great time. And with me, I have the punctual one on the show, <laughs> Aseka. Uh, thank you for being on the show. You look fabulous. Thank you very much. Very nice, very nice. Uh, you thank try you. to steal my thunder, but it's okay. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Aseka, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Now, I've had your dad though. Yeah, and yeah. I'm a huge fan of this show, so I'm super excited <laughs> to be here. <laughs> God. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> So Aseka, let's start off with this, the dancer in you. Did you ever want to be something else? Uh, I don't know, but I think I just gradually fell into this because this is all what I saw. I just like heard drums and music all day, every day, and a lot of color, activity and movement. So is this one of your costumes? No. Oh, sorry, I just asked. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> Just ask. Anyway, uh, so uh, I was very shy when I was small, so uh. I never wanted to become a dancer. But I think with age, I was mature enough to understand the depth of the subject, and especially it's coming from my uh, grandfather, mm. like the legacy. So I thought, why not? Okay, so you are a single child. Yes. Did you ever feel alone when you were growing up? No, I was with a lot of people. I mean, there okay. were a lot of people at home all the time, up, up to date. And um, I had a lot of Akis and Ayas working with me, so I never felt alone. But I, sometimes I felt as if I want an Aya, for, I don't know why. Like a brother figure. A big brother. Yeah. But uh, not all the time. Now, you know, there are two types of only child syndrome. Okay. The very selfish kind and the very giving kind, who are very okay. quite vulnerable to being um, taken on a ride. Okay. Where do you fall? It depends on how you treat me, Danu. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I think. <laughs> no, how I think do you fall on me? No, I'm just saying. Ah, okay. You're the only one here. Ah, the other two are late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's remember? True, that's true. Yeah. So, um, but I think um, I'm a bit of both, but a little bit nicer. I don't think I'm very jealous and selfish. At least I think I'm not. Okay. Uh, I try to be nice. Okay, on the other side, this is like an eternity later, okay? Now we have actually done this segment and we have waited for how many hours? One and a half hours, right? Yes. Uh, because um, I think she had to kill somebody to get the hair. <laughs> <laughs> and it took time. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to have Rafaela. Hi guys, I'm Rafaela Fernando. I'm a photographer and a designer. Also, I work as a stylist and a lecturer, so that's all about me. Well, talking about Date with Danu, it's a really fun show. I watched almost all the episodes and Danu is such a performer. <laughs> and an entertainer when he does the show, so I love the show. Well, Danu is such a fun person to work with. I worked with him on a photo shoot. He got this amazing energy and he's just so crazy. So I don't know what we are going to face today, but I'm really looking forward to. He's a nice person. He's a bit cuckoo in the head, but he's awesome. Welcome back to the show. Rafaela, would you like to start off by showing the length of your hair? Yes, of course. Hello, fabulous. There you go. It's like a bit of an Ariana situation happening. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> How is the person who you took the hair from? That, 
good <laughs> she's fine ah, okay. uh, for the time being <laughs> I, i'm returning it back <laughs> <laughs> but it's very nice you look Thank fabulous you. thanks for being on the show both of them so try to much. outdo themselves by just wearing the glitteriest just for you i don't know whether that yeah, word even shiny. exists yeah. yeah i just wore this just for you fabulous thank yeah. you Anna. thank you thank you um so this sh sh th this particular part of the shoot is happening like an hour and a half later um mm. because i don't know so let's speak about time management ouch <laughs> <laughs> so rafaela so you are into photography yes. and you have worked with so many artists across the years how did you fall into this thing called photography and did you ever think that because there aren't many female photographers in this country why is yeah. that well you know like i started 11 years back so when i started i didn't have any like role model to look up to okay i want to be like her so you know there were so many other male photographers that i looked up to so i'm a fashion graduate i'm a designer many think i'm a photographer but my main yeah. basis i'm a designer i'm a fashion Correct. designer so you had your collection as well no yes. showcases yes even in france france <laughs> in france and <laughs> yeah. in london yes yeah. and then um, then I had this passion for photography since I was a kid so mm. I was in the school photographic society and you know all that right 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 so I had this craze for photography more than for designing so just after graduating I clicked my own pictures for the graduation collection as right, well right. so I was getting this crazy feedback oh my god these are nice so I was like wow mm. okay and my father got me a camera so that's how I initially started What was the first camera you got one of those digital ones i had a slr it was oh. a f25 uh, a lumix camera mm. back in those those days i took pictures in school with that camera mm. and uh, then i mean of course the d7000 that was my first dslr camera so yeah that's how i initially started but how did you fall into this industry like you know there are so many photographers and <laughs> everyone takes up different trades yeah. you have taken pictures of some of the most colorful people in the industry yes i actually like how did um, that start about shooting celebrities you know so what happened was i i travel a lot so i see photograph photo shoots then i get inspired so something which uh, you know really hit my mind was like why don't we have such shoots in sri lanka like mm. conceptualized shoots extreme clothes makeup and styling why don't we have this mm. so by that time i didn't see anything uh, as such in sri lanka so i it was like a very um, like a very innocent attempt i took back in those days uh, i took some pictures and the feedback was really good in the first half like my style wasn't accepted because it's very dark it has a very dark gothic uh, side to it so back in those days it was all bright and you mm. know very like filtered and that that airbrush look no like as exactly. if you're going in the so dark. i had that like rough edge to yeah. my photographs and many didn't like it mm. so uh, there was a point that i felt oh my god like you know what am i doing something right mm. you know so it took some time about 3 years for me to realize this is what i have to do in future as well this is what i'm good at you know so yeah and uh, how That's i fa fell into that was um, i think few years back when i was doing fashion photography so this person contacted me we are doing this um, photo shoot series with celebs would mm. you like to shoot it but my i had a condition i was like if i'm shooting because i've seen all these covers and everything it's just not my style if you allow me to do what i want to do i'll Then do I'll it i'll do it yes mm. and so you put in a little bit of fashion and photography into it yes and so a story do. like that's more like my thing i want a story i want a concept in my shoot so i feel like because when you work with a celeb like an actor or like an actress they can act it out than mm. working with a model you know because they can play with their expression if i tell them this is the mood this is my story they'll act it out so mm. it makes my life easier that i right. really don't have to guide them for expression so that's one reason why i want to incorporate a concept in most of my shorts right all right and that was the start to rafela's celebrity calendars <laughs> but uh, on the other side we have someone who um took the longest journey from havelock place to <laughs> mobile <Mobile-Tico. laughs> i think it took I think it was a walk. <laughs> it was it was one kind of a walk. I'm happy to have the very talented um Chandipa Jayakori coming up on the other side but right now the skill is there. Hi guys, I'm Chandeep Jayakoti, a uh, singer, songwriter and music producer and I'm here to go on a date with Dhan. Uh, so 
So the show, uh, from what I've heard, is uh, very exciting uh, and very interesting. Uh, personally, I've not been in this show before, but uh, I'm excited to see what Danu has in store for us. Uh, well, personally, I've met Danu only a few times, uh, but from those moments, I feel like he's really uh, interesting eccentric personality and he's such a fun person to be around and he just gives off that vibe of uh, very easy going and very easy to hang out with so it'll be fun to have, be in this program with him today. Welcome back to the show and we have the ham in between the two slices of bread. <laughs> I've called you the ham. Chandipa Jayakuri. Thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Um, so, Chandipa, can I ask you, this innocent smile and this uh, cereal eating face. Uh -huh. <laughs> cereal eating face. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it a cover up to a very mischievous life? Not really. I mean, I've always been like this. If you ask people around me, they would describe me as a chill. Person? I should not say anything. Huh? <coughs> I don't want to say anything. I didn't say it. This is your chance. No, he's a, he, he looks innocent. Mm. He has a very cute face. Mm. But um, I don't know. I'm sure he has some like beard side as well. I also feel so. Ah, see? I also feel so. Yeah. <laughs> that innocence. <laughs> I'm in doubt there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Chandipa, you're extremely talented. And I have to say, thank you. Very, very gifted. Uh, but you know, not always, just because your parents are into something, it comes to their children. Like my father was a doctor, what happened to me? <laughs> 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 How did this happen? <laughs> uh, well, uh, starting back when I was small, uh, I used to uh, hear a lot of music in my environment, in my around my house, where my dad used to sing early in the morning, play the Serpina, mm. as you call it in Singhala, and then the tabla. So naturally, I was listening to it, and naturally, I got, you know, um, addicted to those sounds, which led me to liking it. And coming down the line, I went to school, and then uh, did science, and then left school, and then I went to Australia for my bachelor's, and then I did finance, and then I came back, and then again, I found out that, gosh, now it feels like something's missing. Mm. Because all this time I was studying and uh, working towards something different, but once I came back, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do music because I love it. And it just naturally became my passion. So that's why I followed. How many instruments do you play? Oh, gosh. Uh, I play the drums, guitar, a bit of violin, a bit of flute, tabla, mm -hmm. uh, piano, yeah. And the eastern section as well. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Not to brag though, I mean just <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> Very good. <though. laughs> right then, on that note, it's time that we put these people into some trouble. <laughs> Hot seat. <laughs> back to the show and uh, let's start with the one who was late yeah I think so latest late on time wow wow, wow. so oh. Rafaela yes are you ready yeah, yes <laughs> who is ready to show more skin for a photo shoot Sachini Ayandara Nadisha Hemamali or Shehani was featured with Sachini this year's calendar, February. Sachini would, yeah. She, she would. Show more skin. Yes. Out of all the senior artists who you have shot, who is your favourite on camera? And why? Sabita, Sangeeta, Nilmini Tenako. Uh, to pick one, I'll say Sabita because I worked with her more. Okay. Yeah. That's the only reason. And she's gorgeous. I mean, come on, look at that face. <laughs> okay. Who
who is your favorite face? Face? Wait, I'm asking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Raveen Kanishka. Okay. Roshan Ranavana. Okay. Or Saranga. I'll, I'll say Saranga. Yeah. Right. Prishan Panditage, Jonathan Studios, Saranga Lakmal. Who do you think is better when it comes to portraits? Jonathan's. Do you like love or fame? Love, of course. Chandipa. I'm done. Yeah. Oh. Well done, actually. Thank you. What are your thoughts on homosexuality? I'm completely fine with it because uh, I think they're one of the best people to hang out with. Uh, they have such an amazing personality and I've had a lot of gay friends. I'm cool with it. If you had to collaborate for a song, who would be your preferred female voice out of the following? Umaria, Raini, Ashanti and why? Whoa. Uh, <laughs> if I were to collaborate, I would pick Raini. Hmm. Uh, then Umaria and then Ashanti. Nobody asked you to rank it, but it's oh, okay. Because <laughs> <right, right. laughs> I want to work with all three of them. But so, yeah. you know, Raini is your answer. Uh, Why? Because yeah. I feel like she has a very unique uh, tone and a unique voice and a personality. And yeah. Who is your favorite out of the Priyasad sisters? Oh God, I'm going to get in so much of trouble. <laughs> Dinakshi, Shadow or Shanudri? Uh... I think I would say Shanudri because I, I think I'm a bit more closer to her than the other two. Dinakshi, <laughs> please note. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You are paying for the suit, no? <laughs> 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 it will be damaged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the uh, retinue from Saranga's wedding, who is the better actor according to you? Roshan Ranamana? Pubudu or Saranga? I'd say... Do you want me to give you the options again? No, no, I'd say Saranga. Okay, done. Do you want me to rank it? No, no, right? no, no. Okay. Again, you want to just <laughs> oh, rank yeah, it? Oh, yeah, I just finished it with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What are your thoughts on rumours? I mean, <laughs> it could be a hit or a miss because there's so much rumours tend to be true, some tend to be true, some tend to be false. So I don't actually pay heed to any of rumors. Very soft-spoken, no? Is it? Mm. Aseka. Oh, God. Now, you love Bhati and Santosh. But you have to pick only one. Who do you pick out of the two as your favorite? Santosh. Bhati, or no? And he's the sweetest. Uh, but since I have to pick one, I will pick Santosh. Santosh, okay. Mudrika Chandana. Gayan, who would you pick for your wedding choreography if you were not in this industry? I think I'll go with uh, Gayan mm. because I'm more close to him and I can just get it done the way I want <laughs> it to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? If you're not in this industry, you might not be a dancer. But still, I think I'll know him. He knows everyone. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Sachini Ayandara, Udari Pereira, Dinakshi, Anarkali. Rank them according to their dancing talent. Dinakshi, Udari, Sachini, Anarkali. Had you not been Channa Upali's daughter, do you think you will still be the lead dancer of a troupe? I think so. I think I can work towards it. It's all about practice and sacrifice and the effort that you put in. Who is your favorite dancer at Channa Upali's troupe from the past or present? These are your options. Dilhani, Narmada, Vindhya or Rasuni? And why? Uh, from the past. Or oh, present. I don't no, know. no, you said past, no? Oh. So, Vindhya ki. But present, it will be Rasuni Ake. Okay. So the people who are not in this is Narmada and Dilhan. Okay. 
answers came really fast. It confused me. <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you. Well done. I will give you all a gift later. Okay. Yay. Round of applause for you. Okay. So now uh, let's come back to you. Uh, being a dancer means a lot of dedication and a lot of discipline. How disciplined have you to be to be a dancer? I think it would be very disciplined. Uh, do we, uh, uh, out of the three of us, do we have a chance? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, these two, I think they have to like work a bit with <coughs> timing. Uh, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> apart from that, I think so. I'll be an on-time fat dancer. That's all right. Yeah, that's that's all right. Oh, that's you mean fine. that timing? I thought it was like rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like he got offended. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> are you talking to me? I'll say that. It is a key because you know the Samri will pay you for a performance at 4.30. And you're not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rhythm is of no use at that time, so yeah. Yes. You can still be like so late dancers. I think dancers. you need to be extremely disciplined. I mean, the way you talk, the way you walk, everything. All that counts. And um, I think it's it also comes from your background. And uh, yes, so it's all about discipline. When it, especially when you're a performer. I think it applies to all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, excellent. Now this name, uh, Jai Khodi. Mm -hmm. Do you see it as an advantage or a disadvantage now that you have chosen to be in the art industry? It's kind of like a dilemma. Oh. It can be advantages and it can be disadvantages. Speak a bit louder, will you? I can't hear <laughs> you when I'm seated here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, at times it could be an advantage. But see, th the thing is, I really want to make my mark on the world as Chandipa Jayakodi, and I'm still striving towards that. So I think. With regards to that, it could be a disadvantage because everyone assumes you're so and so's son, so and so's daughter, and then it it becomes a thing where even if you put an original song or a production out, people would still value you with what your parents have done, and they try to compare it. But yeah, I just you know keep on working, and uh, I try to be very prolific with what I do, so that I can end up in a good place in the future. All right. Let's get into a break. When we do come back on the other side, we're going to, one, get onto their social media, and two, speak a little bit more on the other side. This is Day Good Time. When you have famous people in the studio, you just need to make sure that you get the world to talk about the show. It's time to update their social media. So while they update their social media platforms, uh, I'm going to move my attention to Rafaela. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> so uh, Rafaela, uh, yes. how did this? So okay, so let's go back to the time when somebody asked you to, to come take these photographs. Okay. And how was the response to it? I've always got really nice responses, like never a bad one. So I used to do like all these crazy things because when I started, I didn't have any lights and all. No? So I used to use candlelight, torch lights, oh, mirrors really? to kind of get the reflection. reflection. Yeah. So, you know, I was kind of in that zone. So the photographs came out really well. Mm. So and a different look to it. Yeah, yeah. And people loved it. So now you approach all these stars to come and take these pictures. Are there yeah. people who have said no? No. Not really? No. That's no. amazing though. Not and how did this rapport sort of start with all of these people? I have no idea, Danu. By now I have shot nearly 115 celebs by now. So wow. it's just, I mean... Are I they still celebs? Yes. Okay. You know, see, like I always have a filter. I mean, not being rude because as a professional uh, photographer, as a person who who has to do something. Maintain. Some, yes, yeah. of course, I have to maintain. So I always reach up to people who have always like, you know, had a... Uh, so who have sustained themselves. Of course. Yeah. So, you know, with um, that, so I, they're still celibs, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, I've... Um, how do I create, how, how did I create the repo? I mean, I don't know. It just happened naturally because I've never tried too hard. Like uh, in, it in just happens. It just happens. Organic. Yes. Now let me just put you in trouble. Chandipa, yep. have you been featured in Rafaela's calendar? Uh, no. <laughs> oh my God, so mean. <laughs> no, no. 
Well, I've seen her work. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually a fan of her work. Oh I've my God, her work. <laughs> I've seen her calendar <laughs> shoots, and I actually think yeah. she's a very creative personality oh, who has a so good much. eye. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's really hard in this industry, even in Sri Lanka. I mean, I'm not so mean. <laughs> no, I meant, I meant uh, it's really hard as, as a woman to be in this industry Definitely. and persevere so much. Sweet, He's so, so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll be nice now for you to be featured. Right? <laughs> of course. Yeah. How did you meet Aseka? Asik, it's 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 this really funny story. Um, mm. Ten years back, I w I did a shoot for Nike and Lululemon and mm. Gap. So she was the Lululemon girl. So oh. and Shanna sir was the choreographer for the shoot. Right. So that was the very first time I met uh, Aseka, and um, with a m like a another friend. She was the designer there. Mm. So you know we. Uh, we had a good chat then and afterwards after some time i think after four to five years time um, i did a photo shoot with channa sir and aseka for my calendar mm. so after that we like you know really got along and we met at events and then you know kind of we got like the similar vibe so we vibed together and <laughs> and we shine oh there you go that's the best part <laughs> now that i've got chandeep on the next calendar 2021 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into one word <laughs> Welcome back. So this is how the game works, all right? Uh, there is no answer that's wrong or right, but it's the person who gets in the answer the quickest. Oh, okay. Oh. Right? <coughs> the, f the early bird gets the worm kind of a thing. Right? Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Yep. If you all overlap, I shall blow my whistle. How should we indicate? Just answer. All right. Oh, God. How do we indicate, <laughs> please? <laughs> May I know? <laughs> she reminds me of Hermione from Harry Potter. <laughs> Did you study in London at any time? No. In Australia? Yes. Oh, Australia, mate. Um, yeah. oh, so decent, I tell you. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this. What would you name your boat if you had one? Boat? Selena. You called it a boat? What did you say, boat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I had a boat, I'll call it a boat, and I didn't hear the boat, so it's a boat. Selena is the answer that I've taken into consideration. <laughs> What's the closest thing to real magic? Mm. Magic. Harry oh. Potter. <laughs> oh. Harry oh. Potter. No? no, no, we have taken the answer. Magic. <gasps> Who is the messiest person you know? Chandipa. <laughs> <laughs> what will finally break the internet? Asega. <laughs> What's the most useless talent you have? Uh, singing. <laughs> what would you name a movie if you could? How to Kill a Dragon. Uh, How to Kill a Dragon. I just said something. Oh my god. <laughs> How to Kill a Bride? Dragon. dragon. <laughs> Who was your worst teacher? Uh, uh, I have a name. Can I say? No, my I, I, that, no I don't know. My maths say. teacher. Our sectional head. <laughs> sectional head, yes. yes. What was your favorite toy growing up? A uh, uh, teddy bear called Stefan. Toy car. If you had to pick a new name for yourself, what would you pick? Raffaele. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, actually one of my clients called me Raffaele. I was like, oh, not bad. I mean, mm. sounds cute. I'll consider. Do you feel like a leader or a follower? Leader. Leader. <sighs> Aseka. So slow, no? I need time to think. I was not asking you to finish your PhD here. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was giving the stupidest answers. Chandipa. <laughs> <laughs> oh he, he did, he did. He, he, he said, I mean, you see. <laughs> you <laughs> see what you get when you say you see. <laughs> Isn't he engaged? And Asika, you see what he get, gets when he you see. <laughs> okay. I can't actually give it to you right now. Because yeah. we are a bit far away. No worries. I'll give it during the break. Yeah. I'll post it's time it. for a break. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Welcome back to the show in conversation with Rafaela, Chandipa and Aseka on Date with Danu. And right now it's time to play Do You Hear What I Say? <laughs> Alright, so this is how the game works. We have put some loud music, something that you might enjoy in the headphones. We don't get to always play this depending on the age 
the strength of their heart. <laughs> 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 so I feel that you all are strong enough to handle this. I will be saying something with my mouth. <laughs> you all are supposed to read my lips. The ones who are not with the headphones on can guess and uh, help the other one guess. All right? Okay. Ready? Ready. Asika, go first. You have 30 seconds on the clock. Right. Uh, can we... Wait, so loud hear? I can hear. I can't hear. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Right, right, right. Are you ready? Here we go. If one doctor doctors another doctor, then which doctor is doctoring the doctor? What? Ooh. If one doctor doctors the doctor... If one clock... Doctors the doctor, which doctor is doctoring the other doctor? Chocolate? If one so doctor hard. is doctoring the doctor... If one person gets the chocolate... <laughs> which doctor is doctoring the doctor? <laughs> which chocolate? Which if one person gets the chocolate, which chocolate... What? It's the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> if one doctor is doctoring the doctor, oh which doctor is doctoring the doctor? If one got the chocolate... Is it about a chocolate? <laughs> if one got the chocolate... Can we help her? No. Yeah, you can help. It's a doctor. If huh? one... <laughs> doctor! Uh. Doctor? You lost. Oh God, <laughs> yeah, that was hard though. Alright, if one doctor doctors another doctor, then which doctor is doctoring the doctor? Your doctor is like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually got the rhyme down. You yeah, like you got chocolate. If the doctor, doctor gets chocolate. one yeah. doctor, it's like you get one chocolate. I'm good with my rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sorry. Where? I can't. Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, good attempt though. <clears throat> Chandi, but you know. Take it from the back. <laughs> there you All go. Right. Well done. All right. Betty Butter bought a bit of butter. Betty Potter. Petty? Butter bought the bit of butter. Petty Potter the. Huh? Pe oh, this is so loud. Yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> Betty Potter bought a bit of butter. From the beginning? Betty Potter. Betty, bo Betty bought a bit of butter? No? Betty Potter bought a bit of butter. Betty's boy bought a bit of butter. <laughs> Betty bought a bit of butter. Yes, yes. Well done. That was wow. so easy. What was easy? It's the same thing. Yeah, so it's not the same thing. That was so long. <laughs> that <laughs> dog this thing. <laughs> because I can't read the other part of this. It's, it's so complicated. Oh my god, I have a problem with my hair. How do I put it in front like Cyclops? She can't even put the headphones <laughs> with the earrings on. Can I do this? <laughs> <laughs> because with my hair on, just you know, you put it from back. Like I can't. From the back of the head. Dude, this is like. Ah, yeah, that. You could actually adjust it. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much? What? Tell it again. How much would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh my god. Again, how much? Would a wood chuck chuck? How much is that chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> that chocolate fantasy. If wood chuck could chuck wood. How many birds? <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking or laughing? <laughs> okay, clearly you're laughing. <laughs> How much wood would a wood chuck chuck? How many birds? I can't believe this is so, it. so loud. <laughs> <laughs> what were you say, saying? <laughs> how, hard, like how many birds? How much wood? <laughs> how much wood oh. would a woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood? See? How? Oh. Uh, Where is unfair. this chocolate coming from? Congratulations, <laughs> Chandipa. I know yeah, that I was that like so <laughs> he what killed is? it. Like I mean, because it was you. easy and short. Wow. I know, right? This woodchuck and chocolate but and how many birds? still my mouth. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I have a terrible eyesight without my spectacles. I could only see how many. <laughs> how many they make up. How, how much? much? How much? Oh, let's give ah. it to a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's a big coming.
It's time to get dirty. Sticky city. Welcome back to the show. Rafaela, well done. Thank you. You don't have much goss about you. No. Less. No. Yeah. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> she is saying less. Actually, I don't find much about you. I know, right? Yeah. You're a good girl. Well done. Thank you. Uh, Sandeepa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I heard a rumor that you liked uh, Shanudri. Okay. And you want me to address this? Yeah. Ah, I guess it's a rumor. Pretty much. I guess people would assume that, right? From the pictures they've seen on my Instagram and Facebook. I Are mean, you looking if at her? <laughs> no, because. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, because. Uh, even when we put pictures together on our social media, there and are. And that was an expression as well. Did you all have something? Oh, yeah. No, actually, we are really good friends. Yeah, I after I saw the way I said Gabi behaves, I don't think she yeah, had anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good friends. Yeah. But we clicked instantly when we. I mean, we knew for a very long time. And as friends, she's helped me a lot in life. And I, I think helped her. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, so I guess if I post a picture with either Shanudri or Aseka or anyone for that matter of the opposite sex people would assume that I had a thing with and them. I post a few with me no yeah <laughs> sure <laughs> definitely <laughs> thanks yeah, <I'm> sweet <laughs> <laughs> thanks so um, Aseka <laughs> 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 uh, relationships are hard are hard I'm asking at times yeah <laughs> <laughs> sometimes <laughs> okay so um, you you have a condition where you cannot jerk. Because I'm like... What's <laughs> 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 oh, that? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you can't jerk. Yeah, yeah, because of my neck issue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You, you can't jerk, why? Because I'm after a surgery, so I can't. Okay. How did this surgery happen and why? And then don't. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> no, and you're no. going to laugh. Don't no, laugh, no, okay? I'm not going to. <laughs> I might. Okay, I looked up and I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's oh, not yeah. funny. <clears throat> mm. And I broke You try to control your sneeze. The eyeliner. Uh, my, yeah, eyeshadow, my eye makeup. I was very fond of it and I didn't want to peer and like smudge it. Oh. So it was still wet. Yeah, I think. But I was looking up and sneezing because if you look down and sneeze, you'll obviously tear. Oh. And uh, yeah, I broke three discs. Right. Not You're a fragile dancing. girl. Very, Very handled fragile. with care. Yeah. So let's come back to your love story. Um, your very uh, long standing relationship, was it painful? Um, it was. Is it hard when you're in this trade, do you get a chance to meet a lot of people or you're confined to the same set of people always? Well, uh, those days I didn't associate much, so my circle was like really small. But now I think I'm very independent, I talk to a lot of people, so I meet a lot of people. So it's not that bad. I, I can't blame the industry for not Do you feel people. that your parents didn't give you restrictions and people who you liked gave you restrictions? No, no. They were very, they were okay with anything and you know, they just trusted me and I made sure that I didn't do anything that will tarnish their name or image. How do you, uh, when you work with all these people, when you take photographs, when they give you diva tantrums, how do you handle it? Well, see, I, I, when I work, I'm very neutral, you know. I mean, what, whatever they do, I mean, they can do. I, I just do my job, you know, and nothing bothers me. And while working, it's next to impossible that someone can really distract me or like, you know, just do something and just get me upset. It's next to impossible. And if they want to do whatever, I mean, I let them, you know, be. Because when I take the picture, I, I guide, right? I direct. Mm. So then <laughs> okay. I just do my part. <laughs> Now, Chandipa, you come from a very traditional music family who have, who have crafted how beautiful our industry is. Mm -hmm. What do you think about these modern music videos? Uh, I think I really like it personally because of the 
creative aspect of where Sri Lankan music industry is heading to. And um, your thoughts on music videos that are done just predominantly for the video and not for music? Oh, so yeah, uh, you know, back in the day when there was radio, mm. people only know the person from the voice. Correct. Right then, the era of the TV came, then the internet, and then now YouTube is really the platform for mm. anyone to put a music video onto. So coming from that generation, people naturally have uh, shifted towards more of the visual aspect of the video rather than the audio. Mm. But then there are some uh, instances where there are creations where the audio ha is handled beautifully. It's like 100% perfect. Plus the audio, uh, the video is also complementing the audio. And I think those kinds of uh, videos are what I'm talking about, which really leads the way to a new platform as in like with the music video industry. Spoke so like a gentleman. Let's get into what's on their Facebook. Did some digging. I've seen all types of photographs on social media. There are some pictures that really stand out. Just imagine the effort that you need to take to do this. Oh wow. Very artsy. You? Rafaela, these are your legs. Uh, you can't see, no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Should we switch? Like, yeah. <laughs> She's also like... Uh, seen that somewhere. <laughs> can you see at all? Uh, I can, like... Sh yeah. Uh, no, not mine. Yours? These are yours, man? Not mine. Uh, that, that is uh, um, Shanudri's. No, these are her legs, right? No. So uh, you took a picture of Shanudri's legs? From that angle? I'm very yes. confused. How did you get on top of Shanudri? I didn't get on top of Shanudri. Uh, I think it's upside down. This way? Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. No, it doesn't make any sense because she's on a step. She's getting down a step. That is Shanu's leg. Uh, Shanu's. That's a... Gr yeah. That's a very mysterious photo. That is. Either I'm you are blind or you don't know what's happening. No, I mean... That is. Oh, okay. I first thought, first thought it was mine. Then I r realized it's thin, and then I saw. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw the design. <laughs> then I remembered <laughs> that's what Shanu wore for my shoot. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two years ago, when I met my fiance, and we went oh. for the first wedding together. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. Anything about her you'd like to say? Oh, she's a lovely soul. I mean, I'm very lucky to find her and I... She's really beautiful. She you all make stunning yes. babies. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You can see, right? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Oh. Would you like to share an experience about this? It's not for you this to was also... At, this was at a wedding uh -huh. a long time ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's about it. You say it as if you don't even want to say it. But to say no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but to say no. <laughs> um, That's all. Yep. That was. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, I think during Christmas, I can see Christmas. During Christmas, Christmas yeah, yeah. This is this was after Umari and Umara had a carol show. Mm. The end of the year carol show with the I think the choir, the singers yeah. in the academy, and so we were invited. And this was the after party. We went out to. Uh, Lake lakeside. lakeside and Thought we had You yeah. know sometimes people are very fashionable Oh my god <laughs> No Danu I don't oh. like you Okay now <laughs> Beautiful right? I know. What I know. happened to your face? Where is your face? I very don't know pretty. It's like a face mask <laughs> <laughs> This is, this she predicted Covid I before This is <laughs> <laughs> long 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 yeah, time ago These shades ago. are good enough to like save I know, you from right? Look at that Yeah. No. <laughs> What was I even thinking? But look at this. Oh. Who is that? <laughs> That's you? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. like you can't see anything. Don't just. Yeah. <laughs> oh I just, I'm just God. trying. That was, uh, oh. that was way back. I that was like in 2013, 14. Yeah. Quite some time back. This yeah. was at a cricket match oh, the in, in my university. 
of the post and all. Uh, I have <laughs> to ask you. You have really come a long way. <laughs> is it the same glasses? <laughs> this is yes. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this was. I don't know. See, uh, I spotted you with the glasses. This is in India. So Umara mm. wanted to like do the whole. Mm. What do you call it? The hijab. Yeah, but that looks like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's her version of the mm. hijab. <laughs> yeah. But these shades oh have been fully put to use. <laughs> God. Uh, you are very much into your physique. Kind of, yeah. On and off. Oh, yeah. I think that was my first, uh, first uh, Facebook profile picture in back in 2007, 8. Oh, the yeah. Wow. That was like Did the only hoodie I had <laughs> as a childhood. Yeah. Memory. I have a similar photograph of really? me also <laughs> with the hoodie on and give it doing the pose. Oh, oh. That? that's hey. me. That's Rafaela. <coughs> that's sweet. You can see this, no? Yes. Ah, great. Uh, Rafaela, a lot of people sent this picture to me and said, I look like you. <laughs> yeah. That's. <coughs> yeah, right? Yeah. 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 I think of course. Great. Yeah, a lot of people. You know, this app is just so good. Yeah, true. Yeah. I agree. Finally. Aww. Aww. Say something. Oh, so just that's me and my husband, Dears. Uh, and the poor uh, man who does all the retouching for you. Oh my god, yes. And like, I mean, come on. Like, tolerating all this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <coughs> that's the time I graduated from uh, D. No kidding. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Tell me about your and mom and dad. So. My mom and dad who came. I like your dad's hair. How it's still. I know like, he has. It. I I never got that afro. I I was. I think you've got your mom's hair. I think I've got my mom's hair, and yeah, it was it was pretty straight from childhood. But I would, I think I could rock an afro. A wig maybe. That's yeah. A wig. The answer. Uh, finally, this is the picture that I wanted to show. Was this the rumor? No, no, no. The, but Contra I've heard like I've heard about y'all. I've heard about her. I've heard you with so many people. Oh my <laughs> wow. god. It's just like. Completely a used product. <laughs> 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 oh, on that note, we need to wrap things up on the show. It has been actually a quite tiring show because you know we were supposed to start at you know at least one hmm. and a half hours before we started. No, mm -hmm. I understand, Aseka. We'll just leave the after party in their hands. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, just before we wrap things up, I'd like to say, Aseka, thank you so very much. You're absolutely gorgeous. I've always thought you're such a down-to-earth, humble girl with approachable personality. And that means a lot. And coming from such a talented family, you have um, taken the balance of both ends. Thank like you very much for having me. Thank you. Lovely having you. Thank you. Chandipa, although I've not known you for a long time. Yeah, we met yeah. recently, right? Yeah, but I must say you are a true gentleman. I've heard a lot about you. I've also heard that you're extremely talented. And I, I must say, like, you know, it's, it's a lot to have this you're such a, a charming person. I think you, you need to act in uh, The Kingsman. Ooh. <coughs> I think that's... Is he doing enough, no? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move on from that. Uh, Rafaela, thank you so very much for having me in your calendar as Aww, well. So yeah. much fun working with you also. <laughs> I know. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, Rafaela. You're extremely talented, and thank, thank you for being you so on the show. It's that. been such an old, like, how long? No, we have been trying to do this. I yeah, know. Right. No, we had a good time. Thank you yeah. for having us. Yeah, thanks. Thank uh, you so much. <laughs> 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 with that, we need to wrap things up on Date with Nanu. Until we see you with another cool episode, it's a wrap. Thank you. <laughs>